Hey everybody, what's up? I'm gonna do my first impressions on Sidonia no Kishi Daikyu Wakusei Senseki. Seneki, in other words, it could be called Knights of Sidonia Battle for Planet 9. Now, I gotta say, like, um, for this ep for this for this episode right here, um, it actually came out pretty, for the first episode, it actually came out pretty nice with a little twist into it. And surprisingly, there are, um, some things that really gave me some shock. But if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning, we have to it that we, I think we have our buddy Tanikaze is having a little battle or so. But later on after that, it goes on to the opening. And after the opening, we have one of our... Freaking buddies, I think Kunato Norio, which is one of the guys that I really hate the most, like from season one. Like, those of you who watched season one of Sidonia or read a manga whatsoever will know what I'm talking about. That guy really, really ticks me off. Like, no tomorrow. Anyways, Norio and then his, his somewhat um, close assistant, Mozuku Kunato goes with them to go to some kind of laboratory or something. The moment they get there, I think Mosuku Kunato gets killed, and Kunato Norio also gets killed. But not before they they might have been infected by something else. But not. But there was a little small mini figure that appeared to Norio before he gets infected by one of them weird old species whatsoever. Then it did some research here and there, you know. Tani Kaze is being praised about like having the highest score, nine, 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 a bunch of nines. That's all I can say. And as the episode progresses, we see to it that Norio Kunato and Mozuku Kunato has been acting a little strange, maybe after the infection. And I think one of them is trying to talk to the Gauna or one of the Guardians or people who's keeping an eye out on the Gauna that is Hoshijiro that looks like Hoshijiro no no joke um gets a little out of hand that person that's infected did something to the woman and that woman gets infected too and then later on I think Taki Tanikaze has been acting a little strange lately after he did not see Hoshijiro anymore in the Gauna form and yeah nothing much going on and after that um there were orders about Tanikaze acting a little strange and should stand down to look for the Enna whatsoever and he goes like understood then he hangs out with Izana for a bit Shinatose and after a couple minutes into the episode we see that a, a giant like Gauna appeared now, I'm not even sure how big it was but guarantee I'm not I can't even give you the size or length of it right now because it was too far away <laughs> But eventually, Tani Kaze goes with the other units and tries to take down this Gauna, this giant Gauna. But later on, like, um, it did not come out well at all, um, for sure. And by that time, we see to it that another Gauna appears out of nowhere and destroys it. And says, my name is Shirari Sugumi. Su Sumugi, or Sumugi Shirari, or something. I go like, who the heck is this person? And later on, it ends off with the strange cliffhanger. And I go like, oh my gosh, do you really have to do that or something? But all I know is it's like, um, yeah. Anyways, there's been some information lately in this episode. I'm not really sure what's going on, but all I know is Kunato is some is somewhat being part of some kind of like um strange drive whatsoever, but I don't know. But anyways, um, this is just, um, this is just pretty strange in a certain case, if anything. Um, so yeah, nothing much really going on as usual, you know. But anyways, um, episode came out pretty well. I mean, for, first episode ca kind of got me impressed to see what's going on. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So uh, I think um, I should have one more video up soon. I did not realize it just got subbed out like many hours ago. So expect that one, so expect that one coming soon. I'm off of zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys um in my next video, right? Peace out. Bye bye.